Hey, good morning. I'm sure that uh, I probably make the worst videos on YouTube. Um, I try to keep it simple. I never felt led to ever make things with a lot of whiz-bang imagery. It's just more about spreading the message. You know, I, I, I just honestly felt uh, led and compelled to make this video for some reason. I was just sitting here kind of pondering my mind and kind of talking to the Lord a little bit. And, you know, I wanted to stress something to each and every one of us that many churches are starting to fall away from. And many people in general just do not believe. But I want to be clear because scripture is clear that heaven and hell are real. Heaven is a literal place has a literal location and hell has a is a literal place and has a literal location and it is by our choice our personal choice where we want to end up jesus christ is giving us everything in order to enter into this kingdom and i want to stress a few things that people just overlook you know, why is it that Jesus Christ himself says that your name could be blotted out of the book of life? Why is this? You must study these things. Why does it say within scripture that if you knew of Jesus Christ, kingdom of his glory, and walked with him and then fell away, that it'll be worse for you than if you never knew him? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Be very mindful of the ministry that you're under. Be very watchful of who you are listening to and what doctrine you're adhering to. Open the scripture and read for yourself. I am I'm being serious about this. So many just go what go off of what is spoken from the pulpit. Truly study what the word says and i strongly encourage you to read romans galatians thessalonians second peter and first john just to start people overlook everything many just believe that they could live any way they want and this is not the case please trust me in this because you're not arguing with me, you're arguing against the Word of God. Listen, I don't know why I was prompted to make this video, but I wanted to send this message. Just as heaven and hell are real, also the rapture and those left behind in the tribulation are real. Those who participate in the rapture are the bride of Christ. Those who go into the tribulation and somehow survive and then give their life to Jesus Christ and be, and be executed, those will be the tribulation saints. Everybody else, every one else is going to perish. I hope this even is clear. We are waiting for our blessed hope. We are waiting for the appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord our Messiah, our King, our Redeemer. Listen, if, you, if you've fallen away, run back into the arms of Jesus Christ right now. Please repent. If you do not know Jesus Christ, I want to invite you. I want to invite you and introduce you to him. He loves you. Call out to him. Call out to him in these final moments. Cry out to him. Ask for him to fill you. Ask for him to save you. Ask for him to rescue you. Trust and believe that he is the Savior. Turn from your evil and wicked ways. We all have had to do this. We're not perfect. But run back into his arms if you have fallen away. And if you, don't know, if you do not know him, call out to him. He will meet you right there. You do not have to get good to be saved. You just need to cry out to him. And he will do the rest if you allow him to. Listen, the time is short, the hour is near. 
in the time of playing games is over. You know, it uh, it's very telling. It is very telling when you see things. And trust me, I am so far from from perfect. You <sighs> just like what Paul said, this wretched man that I am. Thanks be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are to walk away from sin. We are not to participate in sin. We are to walk away from this world, not participate in this world. We are to walk towards heaven, not embrace this world. This world is not our home. Everything you see will be destroyed. It, scripture tells us it will be burned up by fire. Why hold on to this world? Why want to be here? The followers, the bride of Christ, are not subject to death and hell. Death and hell come at the fourth seal. We are not subject to the wrath of Jesus Christ. That is very clear. That is very clear. So do not partake and go along with these doctrines of demons that tell, that tell people that they must endure through this. Well, many will. Trust me, many are going to because very few will participate and enter into the rescue. This is also very clear. But we can enter into the rescue. We can enter into the rapture. The harpazo, the catching away. But you must want that. You must desire that. You must be waiting for Jesus Christ as he says to. You must be longing for him as it says to long for him. Help others. Love others. Help the orphan and the widow. Show the love of Jesus Christ to this world. Spread the gospel of grace and also about his soon appearing in the clouds to bring to him those who are longing for him, who are waiting for him, who are in love with him. I hope this message is clear because, again, hell is a literal place and nobody wants to go there. Trust me on this. Uh, just at the side note, <clears throat> and again, I, I have no idea. If, if the Russians actually punched into the cavern of hell or not. However, just do some research, which is very interesting, of the, uh, the deepest, uh, deepest hole ever dug and what they found at the bottom of that hole. Well, they, they sent measurement devices and microphones. But just do some research on that. Now, is it just a massive cavern, you know, eight miles or whatever it was below the surface of the earth possibly or did they possibly punch into the top of hell who knows that's for you to decide and to go before the lord and stop listening to doctrines of demons that are trying to persuade you and lead you away from the kingdom study scripture my friends study it for yourself if you go to a church or a part of a religion that deny Jesus Christ in any way, shape, or form. Walk away from it. Jesus Christ is the one that paid the price for our sins. He is our Redeemer. All right, guys, I'll leave it at this. Have a blessed day, guys. I love you. It's the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord and King, Savior of mankind, the Rescuer, our Bridegroom. I send this message and pray. Bye-bye.